friends, it's me. Today we are checking out another episode of 90 Day Fiance. Last time we watched Big Ed get dumped. You first lied to me about height and about math wash and, and disappointed because you always embraced me. I'm done. If you guys missed that video, I will link it in the description below. Last night, Rose and I got into a big fight because I didn't tell her before I came on this trip that I don't want more kids. And then this morning, she told me it's over. Easy peasy. She ain't trying to waste her time. What's the point of being someone that doesn't like want the same future as you? I failed again. 28 years is a long time to be single. You know, I think there's a reason why you've been single for 20 years. Hmm. Let me lie about my heights. Oh, she want kids? I don't want kids, but I'm not gonna tell her. And then you find something that you think is real to later find out that it's not. <sighs> Big Ed lies about his life to get a relationship. Also Big Ed, when the lies are exposed. You find something that you think is real to later find out that it's not. I know that it's over with Rose. I need to try to put my life back together. I want to reach out to my daughter, Tiffany. I want her to know that this was about me following my heart. It was about me trying to find love for me. Can't wait to go home so my daughter can roast me for being a huge fool. But anyways, we're done with him. Another couple I've been following, not couple, but this dude, his name is David. He was also on 90 Day Fiance. And he spent an insane amount of money for a girl that probably doesn't even exist. My name is David. I'm 60 years old and I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh God, he's here. I love my cats, but I definitely want to uh, be married. The cats don't replace that. I think I've met that girl that I want to marry. I'm ready for it to happen. Well, you know, I can't really put my finger on it, but there's just something that's like a little off about this dude. Creepy vibes. But also reminds me of a grandmother. I'm leaving in a few days to go to Ukraine to meet my girlfriend Lana for the first time. I've been chatting with Lana for seven years. I've never met Lana in person. We feel like an old married couple. He's been talking to this woman for seven years online, not texting. You know, those fishy sites where you have to pay to speak to the girls. You pay in like $50 an hour to talk. Well, you can just go on Omegle and do it for free. I'm inviting her to chat. Hi, honey. I think I talked to Lana probably four hours a day. There she goes. Hello, dear, she says. Look how he's speaking to her. This is the lamest conversation I've ever seen. I would have more fun talking to randos on Omegle. I have video chatted with Lana on the site, but there is no audio. It's visual only. You can see the person, you can see them smiling, you can see them reacting to what you've written. You can't speak to each other. Yeah definitely not sketchy at all. My dude, the simp king. The type of dude to click on those ads. Meet women in your area now. So they ain't even in your area. They're all the way in Ukraine. And you gotta pay $50 an hour for a text chat. Sometimes I just want to see her. She's just so beautiful to me. But it's also much more expensive to use their, their video chat services. I was asking her the details about the train ticket, but she can't remember where she saved the tickets. So he's planning to go all the way to Ukraine and meet up with her. Bro, First of all, your girlfriend works on like a dating site so she can talk to multiple dudes and cash in. Does he really honestly believe that she's only talking to him? I know you paying her, but this is literally her job to like fabricate a relationship with all these lonely dudes. You have money? You are boyfriend. Husband even. Last night, she told me it arrives at 8 a.m. I trust Lana. I don't think she would be uh, faking the ticket to me. <laughs> Okay, Boomer, over the years, he has spent over a hundred thousand dollars just talking to this woman. You could have bought yourself a nice car with that. We communicate only through the dating website. I'm in love. She is 27 years old. She's beautiful. She's intelligent. I feel very lucky that she wants to be with me. Yeah, <laughs> you and 20 other dudes that she's probably scamming before even acquiring her personal phone number. Yeah, I'm gonna get her an engagement ring. It's real. So, uh, tell me a little bit about her. Blonde, small hands. I've never met her. <laughs> I was like, say it, say it, tell him the truth. And then he came out with a, uh, actually never met her. <laughs> You've never met her? Uh, she's in a foreign country. Oh, okay. and I dated her like online. I've had thousands of hours of chat with her and I've never met her. So I'm going to meet her for the first time and gonna propose to her. Bro, what 
are you doing? Getting an engagement ring? You're gonna propose to your laptop? Does this woman even exist? Maybe cubic zirconia or... Uh, cubic zirconia. Because they shine, I guess. Wait, he wanted to get her a fake ring. Oh, that's a perfect metaphor for this relationship. <laughs> he ain't even gonna get her a real diamond. He's gonna get her a cubic zirconia. Fake relationship, fake ring. Today is the day that I get on the airplane. Uh, I can't believe that in 24 hours, I'm gonna meet Lana in person. That's I'm gonna get on an airplane, take the train, go see her. So they agree to meet up at this restaurant. I've been waiting for Lana to show up since 2 p.m. And I'm starting to get nervous that all this was for nothing. <laughs> My dude got the champagne ready, the roses. We at the restaurant. He's already been there an hour. He got the patience of a rock. Infinite. Come on, Lana. Come on. I don't have internet access in the restaurant, so I can't send her instant messages to find out what's going on. You fool! You are in a foreign country! How do you not have internet? Why don't you go someplace with Wi-Fi? Oh, this is how we used to do it in the olden days. Funny. He waited like three hours and it was like, okay, you know what? She ain't coming. Maybe she got into an accident. It's definitely not her fault. She для меня рядовая ситуация. Заходит человек, заказывает, а к нему не приходит. She's saying this is a typical thing that happens all the time. Plot twist: the restaurant owner is Lana. <laughs> Lures men into her restaurant, makes them order her finest champagne. Takes their money when they don't show up. I mean, you never know. Это часто. Ничего особенного. She says it happens a lot. Nothing special. Just another day. Ooh, free flowers. I'll take those. Wait, there's more. So he ends up going to her apartment. He did find her address from uh, the cruise registration last year, and thinking about driving out there. I mean, heck, you're in another country. You don't know anybody. There's nothing to do. Yeah, let's go to her house. Honestly, I would do the same thing. Why not? Girl, you said you go meet with me. You go meet with me. We gonna make this happen. Cause we in love. Uh, she lives in eight. Oh my god. Address. And some other dude lives there. Well, heck, back to square one. We're gonna have to get TLC involved in this. So after being in Ukraine for like a week, there was like, okay, you know what? We can't find Lana. Let's put out all these episodes and hints and stuff, like everyone's saying, and I believe it. Producers paid her to come out and meet him because this whole time and everybody else was convinced that she's not a real person. Lana does not exist. You are getting catfished. But I watched this a few days ago. They circled the pits of Ukraine and found this woman. I don't even know if her real name is Lana. Where is Lana? Where is Lana? I don't know what she'll be wearing, but I do remember seeing a photo where she has a bluish gray knit cap. Is my dude waiting for Lana or waiting to hunt vampires? Anyways, again, she's very late. Kept you waiting, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, she is real. She exists. This is the biggest plot twist of all time. Mm. <laughs> I can't believe you're here. Mm. <laughs> he was really like, mm. he looking at her like he gonna eat her. Like she a mighty fine piece of steak. I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it. They paid me a lot of money to be here. I'm gonna act nice. Play along. They have the translator app here. I'm glad we're going to meet. I'm glad we're going to meet. Duh, duh, duh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, you see how he's hugging her and she just has her arms at her side like, I do not want to hug this man back. No, thank you. The producer's like, why did you come today? And don't mention that we paid you. I felt that this is my родная heart. It's like, it's very attractive as a woman. It's even my life. Oh, 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 
Is that a free ticket to America I smell? Why is she being so nice but she won't hug him back? Some fishy going on here. На сегодняшний день мне все нравится в Дэвиде, кроме кожаного пальто. I like everything about David except his leather coat. What do you mean except his leather coat? That's the only thing I like about David. That is what elite men wear. Top tier clothing. I'm being serious. More dudes need to dress like this. <laughs> She's so awkward. She got a friend in the back of her like, ah, help me. How do we get out of this situation? Oh, but yeah, I guess that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want more 90 Day Fiance, make sure you hit that like button on the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click, and subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.